Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see the paper on intrusion detection model based on fuzzy class association rule mining using genetic network programming. In the field of networking, the area of network security consists of the provisions and policies adopted by the network administrator to prevent and monitor unauthorized access, modification or denial of the computer network and network accessible resources. Network security involves the authorization of access to data in a network which is controlled by the network administrator. The internet is the world's largest network of networks. When you want to access the resources offered by the internet, you don't really connect to the internet. You connect to a network that is eventually connected to the internet backbone. A network of the extremely fast network components. This is an important point. The, in the internet is a network of networks, not a network of hosts. In information security, intrusion detection is the act of detecting actions that attempt to compromise the confidentiality, integrity or availability of a resource. When intrusion detection takes a preventive measure without direct human intervention, then it becomes an intrusion prevention system. Intrusion detection can be performed manually or automatically. Manual intrusion detection might take place by verifying the log files or other evidence for signs of intrusions including network traffic. A system that performs automatic intrusion detection is called an intrusion detection system IDS. An IDS can be either host based if it monitors systems calls or logs or network based if it monitors the flow of network packets. Modern ideas are usually a combination of these two approaches called missile detection system and anomaly detection systems. Intrusion detection systems which can effectively detect intrusion accesses have attracted attention. This paper describes a normal fuzzy class association rule mining method based on genetic network programming GNP for detecting network intrusions. GNP is an evolutionary optimization technique which uses directed graph structures in instead of strings in genetic algorithms or trees in genetic programming, which leads to enhancing the representation ability with compact programs derived from the reusability of nodes in a graph structure. By combining fuzzy set theory with GNP, the proposed method can deal with the mixed, mixed database that contains both discrete and continuous attributes and also extract many important class association rules that contribute to enhancing detection detection ability. Therefore, the proposed method can be flexibly applied to both missing and anomaly detection in network intrusion detection problems. Next, we see the flow of this process. First, we extract data from the data set. Extract data from Darbar data set. It includes list file which identifies each network connections, timestamps, service type, source IP address, source port, destination IP address, destination port and the type of each attack. The next process is pre-processing. A pre-processor is a program that processes its input data to produce output that is used as input to another program. The output is ready to be pre-processed from of the input, form of the input data. Pre-processing contains eliminating missing values from the data set. After the uh, pre-processing, we store all information into database. Next process is fuzzy membership function. We, in the fuzzy membership function, we introduce a sub-attribute utilization mechanism contains binary, symbolic and continuous attributes. Binary attributes are divided into two sub-attributes and the symbolic attributes was divided into several sub-attributes. Finally, continuous attributes was also divided into three sub-attributes uh, that is low, medium and high value. The low, medium and high of fuzzy membership functions predefined for each continuous attributes. A predefined membership function is assigned to each continuous attribute and the linguistic terms can be expressed by the membership function. Finally, we calculate the parameter of alpha, beta and gamma in a fuzzy membership function of attributes 
of ai beta is the average value of attribute ai in the data set then gamma is the largest value of attribute ai in the database then alpha finally alpha plus uh, gamma is equal to 2 beta Next process is rule extraction. In GNP rule extraction, GNP based fuzzy class association rule mining with sub attribute utilization successfully combines discrete and continuous values in a single, single role. Confidence and support is used to extract important normal class association rules. Rules with support values greater than threshold are extracted as important class association rules of normal behaviors. In this part, the support the conference and the sky square value is also calculated. The next process is updating fuzzy rules. The extracted fuzzy class association rules are stored in a rule pool through generations. When an important rule is extracted by GNP, it is stored in the pool with its support conference sky square value and the parameter of the fuzzy membership function. If the fuzzy rule has a higher sky square value, it will replace the same old fuzzy rule in the pool along with its fuzzy parameters. Therefore, the pool is updated every generation and only important fuzzy rules are higher sky square values and the better adopted fuzzy parameters are stored. Then the final process is classification. In this classification process, the testing data are loaded and compared into stored association rules. The stored rules contain both normal and intuition association rules. Our input testing data sets are compared with both the intuition and the normal rules and the intuition and the normal values are calculated. Using this value, the testing data are classified. If, for example, if the normal value is greater than the intuition value, that then the testing data are classified as normal otherwise it was classified as intuition next we see the running procedure first open the netbeans and open our project into netbeans then click data just to right click the data set the java and click run file First, select input document. These are the DARPA 98 dataset values. Then, future reduction. In future reduction, the number of attributes are reduced. Then, filtration. We remove all missing values in filtration process. Next one is membership function. In membership function, We are using three type of attributes, binary attributes, symbolic attributes and the continuous attributes. Then click fuzzy values. In the fuzzy values we call it the linguistic terms. So linguistic term means we, cla we classify it as low, medium and high fuzzy values. Then click fuzzy membership value. We convert the fuzzy value into fuzzy membership. Fuzzy membership means the values lies between 0 to 1. The value is low, uh, low means, uh, for example, the ID is low means we put low into 1.0, otherwise 0, 0.0. Next one is parameter values. We calculate alpha, beta and gamma parameter values. Next one is rule extraction. In this rule extraction process, the association rules are applied for both intuition and normal. After that, we calculate the support, confidence and the chi-square value. The next process is updating fuzzy rules. Update the fuzzy rules. Uh, we set the input of minimum support, confidence and the chi-square values. We set the minimum thresholds for support, confidence and the chi-square for both intuition and the normal rules. Then click updating fuzzy rules. First we have 438 rules, after that we have only 44 rules. The next process is classification. In the classification process, we first load the test data.
we click test that uh, txt and we click open these are the testing data sir. then we calculate the match degree match degree means uh, we come we calculate the values between our tested data and the updated fuzzy rules for both intuition and normal rules then click the classification in the testing data these uh, data values are normal data and these were intuition data our testing data are classified as in normal and the intuition thanks for listening